Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to clarify on this video, on an, a previous video I made about uh, buying a, a used car versus buying a brand new car. And I, had my, I, I made comparisons and I didn't really say what was better. So here's the video on you know, my conclusion basically. Uh, my conclusion was that uh, it was better to have a used car that you know is gonna last you a, a pretty good time and you won't have to fix it as much. So that's the main thing and I think I'm gonna do a video on how you can find the car on Craigslist what to look for and what uh, how, how you will know if it's uh, worth it um, so I'm gonna do that I'll probably put a link in any of these videos but if you are wondering if you, if you should buy a used car or a, a new car check out the video I made um, it's pretty long 20 minutes but it explains and compares whether you should buy you know used or new and in conclusion the short the short story um, is that it is better to buy a used car that's gonna last you that's cheap to begin with that you pay off all at once you know you can find a thousand dollar car that has low miles that could probably last you fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars fifteen thousand miles and then eventually it breaks down but you'll buy another used car and it'll still be cheaper you know buy another thousand dollar car and so on so that method is cheap for me i like it uh it requires less maintenance insurance is cheap right off the top and that's the thing the, the big difference the big um deciding fact the big uh thing to look for when identifying an expensive car is how much is the insurance how, and how is the fuel economy and the upfront costs? These three things are the main um, factors that contribute to the cost of the car throughout its lifetime. Gasoline is the first, then it's insurance, then it's the price of the car. When you buy a car, a brand new car, okay, let's say you pay the full lump sum of the average car price, let's say $25,000 a brand new car okay twenty five thousand dollars you paid it okay and then but you still are paying insurance you don't you never stop paying insurance and you never stop filling up your gas tank so throughout the life of the car your the cost of gasoline will be more than the cost of the gas of the car the retail price so it will cost more than twenty five thousand dollars the cost of insurance throughout the life of the car will cost you more than twenty five thousand dollars Check out the video, look at the math, and it's incredible how much gasoline uh, will accumulate, how much it will cost throughout the year. So find a car that's fuel efficient is number one. Uh, and then a used car, not straight off the loss, but something new used is better because insurance will be cheaper. And something, you know, Use that cost less, cost a little bit is good. So if if you wanted a newer car, go for it. Buy a newer, not a new new car uh, of the year, but something that's probably like ten years old or something like that. That way, um, you have a discount and it's low miles, but it's still gonna last you a lot. Uh, but but just remember that the main thing you should be looking at and paying attention to is the gas mileage. The gas mileage is very important. That's what's gonna save you a lot of money. And the more you drive, the more you spend. So go for something that it's 35 miles per gallon or higher, or even 30. Anything below that is just like, you know, it's it's, it's putting a dent in your wallet, especially if you're not making a lot of money. It's just go for the most convenient, I mean the, the, the most fuel efficient car. Uh, you know, you don't have to get the brand new, uh, um, cars that are hybrids you get a, a basic Honda Civic even the old Honda Civics are still super efficient you have some Honda Civics that are in 19 early 1990s that are still running they run 35 miles per gallon or and up so that's what I recommend that's it for the video I think I addressed everything so that's my conclusion on whether you should buy a new car or a used one go used go high miles per gallon cheap insurance and uh, low initial cost.
that's it so I'll also be making a video on how you can find Craigslist so I'll post it uh, if I learn how to post stuff on the video I'll post it so subscribe like the video see y'all on the next video bye bye